Good day everyone. Our topic for today is about related machinery and equipments and ballpoint pen manufacturing. The first machine is injection molding machine. An injection molding machine, also known as injection press, is a machine for manufacturing plastic products by the injection molding process. Hindi lang pen ang nagagawa dito. Pwede rin siyang gamitin sa paggawa ng plastic toys, automatic automotive body, cellphone cases, at marami pang iba. It consists of two main parts, an injection unit and a clamping unit. Sa injection unit, dito natin makikita yung part na hopper barrel drive unit. Marami pang iba. And dito rin sa injection unit, natutunaw yung granules plastic natin. Then sa clamping unit, dito natin makikita yung part na mold tool tie bar, mold clamping cylinder. At dito rin nabubuo yung product. O dito nasi-shape yung product. Injection molding process. So, paano nga ba process? So, sa injection system, dito natutunaw yung granules plastic natin. The red in the picture, yan, yan, yung, yan yung molten plastic natin. Then, the hydraulic system will push the molten plastic into the mold system. Sa mold system, meron tayong dalawang die dyan na magkadikit. Then, pag tumigas na yung product natin, then yung isa is atras para matanggal yung product natin. Then, next is extrusion machine. Extrusion is a continuous process of converting a solid plastic mass, pellet, or powder into a melted form where it is pushed through a die into a shape. This shape is then moved through virus, various secondary operations where it is cold, then cut, coiled, or experiences a variety of other possible operations. So, parang pareho lang sila ng injection molding machine. Pero ang pagkakaiba nila is extrusion machine, wala siyang clamping unit. Pero meron, siyang, meron rin siyang die. Mga babasa natin meron siyang shaping die. So, then, paano ba ang press nito? Then, mat matutunaw yung granules plastic natin. Then, matutulok siya sa matutulak siya sa shipping die. Then, other operation na. Then, pupunta siya sa cooling, puller, cutting, and removal. So, sa cutting and removal, doon na yung finished product natin. So, leveling machine. Leveling machines are designed to apply labels to a variety of products and packages. Because of their multiple uses, different types of label are able to adhere to a variety of surfaces, such as fiber, drums, aluminum, glass, steel, and plastic. So, sa napakarami ba namang product ang gagawin mong pen, kagamit ka nitong labeling machine para mas mapabilis ang paglagay mo ng label at pangalan ng product. So, tutulungan ka na nito upang mas mapaparami ang out output magagawa. So, ang filling machine. So, filling machine, is, ito naman, dito, tayo, dito nilalagay yung ink sa pen. So, sa napakaraming pen na gagamitin, gagawin mo, itong machine na ito ang katulong mo para maglagay ng ink para mas map pabilis ang gawain at maparami ang output. Next is assembly machine. So sa assembly machine naman, this machine is tutulungan ka para i-assemble ang product mo parts by parts. Assembly process. As an assembly line is a manufacturing process, often called a progressive assembly, in which parts are added as the semi-finished assembly moves from workstation to workstation, where the parts are added in sequence until the final assembly is produced. By mechanically moving the parts to the assembly work and moving the semi-finished assembly from workstation to workstation, a finished product can be assembled faster and with less labor than by having worker carry parts to a stationary piece for assembly. So, yun nga, mas mapapabitili ang paggawa at pag-assemble ng product ng parts by parts pag gagamitin itong machine na ito. Yeah, this picture is the example of assembly machine. 
Next is packaging machine. Packaging ma machinery is used throughout all packaging operations, involving primary, primary packages to distribution pack. This includes mini packaging processes, fabrication, cleaning, filling, sealing, combining, labeling, overwrapping, and palletizing. And then the functions of packaging. Packaging is necessary to protect products. So, the yung package, yung package ng isang product is to avoid the damage. Then next is improve labor productivity. So, pag gumamit tayo ng packaging machine, mas mas mapaparami yung output, mas mapapadali. Then next is ensure packaging quality. So, pag gumamit tayo ng machine, ng packaging machine, mas maganda yung quality ng package din. Handle specialized requirements such as vacuum packaging, inflatable packaging, skin packaging, and pressure filling. So, yun. Reduce labor and improve working condition for heavy, heavy products. So, mas, mas mapapakunti niya yung paggawa ng isang worker. And then, mas mapapaganda pa yung mga gawa mga gawa nito then next is protect worker from health effects brought by dust toxic hazardous products and prevent environmental contamination so mas safe para sa worker pag gumamit ng machine na ito so yun lamang po at ito po yung output ng pen natin salamat po